YouTube. Taking my chains off again. Same spot where the cougar was, but different day. And uh, I just thought I'd take this moment and make it a little teaching session. It's been a rough morning so far. Stripped the bunk on a load of pulp because it's starting on a hill and shovel operator took the pulp off and threw this on and still started on the hill in the snow and when you got chains you don't really slip and he didn't give me a push but taking my chains off first thing I notice is I don't know if you can tell there's a lot on the bunk here but see that mark right there I stripped the bunk a foot and it's amazing it stayed on you can see the front where it's all peeled up there there's still plenty on, but it still makes it sketchy because if it slides, it can slide again. The only thing that holds on a loaded log truck, the only thing that holds the load, only thing that holds the trailer to the truck is the load. This reach here, this metal tube going down the trailer, you see that's a compensator. You can see how far I pulled the compensator out. Um, I'm amazed myself that I wasn't I didn't notice I mean I was watching my trailer and my mirrors watching my tires when I was moving but you know it takes a second to jump forward and then bite again I wish he next time I'm gonna make sure he pushes me even if he doesn't think he needs to I'm gonna make him but um, this is a compensator and this this round tube here is a compensator and what that's for is when you when you turn See how the frame's long out the back? Well, that frame swings back and forth, and that allows the reach to, you know, because it, as it comes out away from the center, the distance from there to there actually grows. And so that compensator, hence the name compensator, compensates for the, the, le the, the length that grows. What this reach is for is the closer you have the, the center point to the load, it actually steers the trailer tires. Um, so, which is great for log trucks because you go around a lot of steep switchbacks that you couldn't make in another, um, in like a 53 foot trailer, you know, you just can't, or you, even a shorter trailer, you can't. So, the, the idea behind it is to get the center point of the truck as close, or the end of the truck as close as you can to the center of the load. But uh, so when you see a log truck going down the road, what's tying the truck and trailer together, acting like a fifth wheel or a kingpin, is actually the load itself. If there was no load, you just the trailer would just be left in the dust. And uh, of course, we have a a bale here that you flip, and then you can drag the trailer, and it'll catch on that ear there, that little dog. But uh, anyways, yeah, I saw that this morning. I noticed that when, after I was up off the landing, a ways about a mile off the landing, I got out to just um, fill my paperwork out. There was a bunch of trucks waiting because I, you know, stripped the load and a bunch of junk. And it's because it's so cold out. I, I think it's about 20 degrees this morning. And that pulp, you know, he's putting all the tops, the small ends on the bunk. And that just doesn't help. And pulp so spindly, especially with like four inch or three inch diameter little stuff. Um, it just can't bite so the bunk here and then this is called the knife that piece of metal and that's what if you look that's what the logs bite into that's what holds it on and when you got spindly stuff that's just too small and flexible and doesn't want to bite you know that's what happens but the, the rule is you need to have a foot off the knife so from the center of the bunk you need to have a minimum of a foot out which uh, these ones all look good. There's a couple on that side for being that aren't, and then a couple in the middle over there that aren't, but they were. They had plenty. But, uh, anyways, I thought you guys would appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, you got foot off the knife, and you know, you got your reach and your compensator. And, uh, anyway, so that's that's why log trucks are most log trucks are designed this way where you can put the trailer on the truck which makes it easier for backing in and turning around at landings in the dark or just in small sec you know small areas and uh, 
that's the whole reason for the reach is uh, pretty much to steer the trailer. So, anyways, have a good one, guys. Stay safe out there. So, so today, pretty much been a day from hell so far. About, I actually stripped the load three times. I only said two, but first time was my fault. We had a load of pulp on. About three quarters full to the bunk. I mean, a full bunk lay, and then probably half or three quarters up the stakes of pulp, which is about half a load because you got to run to the stake extensions there. And, uh, you know, first load in the morning, so I, you know, released my trailer brakes to charge the trailer with air because after setting all night, you know, in the cold, it usually has a couple pounds of brakes aren't barely set. So, and it was loading me on a really steep hill, so I wanted to, uh, make sure they didn't load me and then only thing holding me was my truck brakes and first thing that happened I mean looking back now I kind of know better but I should have uh, done it a little er or later but I thought that was plenty of a of a, a load to do so but release trailer brakes frick, frick, the trailer runs off up against the shovel and the strips the load and then you know that right there should have been an indicator that before, you know he should have gave me a push out of there the second time. Then second time I stripped the load, and then now, then. But I, before any of that, freaking this morning, my boss called me and was like, "Hey, you gonna show up to work?" Called me at 5:30. Well, I mean, I'm usually up at 2 a.m. and uh, man, you know. So that's the first time in two years that I've actually had to get called and woken up to go to work so I slept in still not sure what happened if I, I had six alarm set I'm not sure if they I slept through them all or my phone glitched out or whatever but that sucked so this you know is already on a bad start now I got a freaking nail in the tire and it's leaking pretty good I don't know if you guys can hear it but so I man today's one of those days that you might as well just not show up so anyways I'll take her to town. Usually I don't want to take it to town if it's on the outside duel, but I'm gonna take it to town, have them put a new tire on the sucker, and then I'll deliver this load and go back for one more today, I guess, but anyways, some days are better than others, I guess. Gotta take them as they come. Talk to you guys later, have a good one.